dashing through the snow. It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Merry Christmas and welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Last week I showed you how to draw a sleigh. This week I want to teach you how to draw a horse to pull that sleigh. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a horse that is dashing through the snow. And I'm going to start off with kind of a, a rounded rectangle. So I'm going to make a couple curved lines here on the side. And then a curve underneath and a curve on top, a curve that goes up. So this is a basic starting place for the body. Now, these, he is running, the, or she, the horse is running. So to show that, I'm going to make a line that curves across the bottom, kind of like a rainbow. So a big, long curve. Okay. Next, I want to draw, I'm going to make these two sides and two legs. I'm going to make the bottom here, the foot, the hoof, is going to be flat on the bottom. It's going to start off a little bit narrower and get wider as it goes towards the body. And I'm going to do the same thing here in the back. Just a, a short line here and then it gets wider as it goes up towards the body. Now this is a cartoon version of a horse. Um, the legs are a little different than you'd find in real life, but it does look like it's a horse that's running through the snow. And so that's why we're doing this. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw a second line here, a second curve, and this is going to be for the other leg, and it's on the other side of the body, so part of it is covered up. We don't see all of it. So here's how it looks when it's sticking out here, and we're going to do the same thing here in the back. I'm going to come back here and make a curve. It's a little bit higher because it's further away, and also it's not as long because it's. it looks like it's not as long because it's farther away as well. Okay, so this is the front two legs and the back two legs. Then I'm going to go up here and make the horse's neck. And the head. It's going to slant down this way. Kind of a curve on the end. And then the jaw, it kind of sticks out a little bit like that. So it's a little bit curved like that. Okay, I want to make the horse's ears up here. And then I'm going to go back over some of these lines and darken in the lines I want to keep. And then we'll clean up or erase the lines that we don't want to keep. I'm going to start over underneath the, the jaw here. This line is going to curve down to this front. This leg is closest to us, so it's going to curve down to that leg. And I'm going to darken this leg, the outline of it. I'm going to darken it all the way across the bottom here. Okay, and then this back leg here, we're going to go up the body right here like that and then the back get a little bit of a curve to it and that kind of gives it a, a sense of action like it's he's in motion or she's the horse is in motion okay now I want to clean up get rid of some of these lines that I don't need so like here inside the neck inside the front leg here and inside the back leg right here. Okay, I want to make these other two legs darker around the outline, the outside edge of the leg. Okay, now I want to add some hooves. I'm just going to put a line across and then shade in, darken in where the hoof is. Now 
Okay. I'm gonna go up here and make I'm gonna make an eye and a nostril right here. And then maybe we see just a little bit of the other nostril. Oh, well, let's just do one. Let's just do one. Okay, I'm going to put a harness on the horse. So I'll put a curve here around the nose here. And then i put a curve up here to a circle. And then it goes behind the ears. And then I want to draw a line that goes from this front part to that circle there. Okay, I want to race inside the ear. Might be a little harder to do because it's a smaller space. If you race too much, then you just have to draw back where it was. And let's make some mane. I'm going to make a little bit of hair coming off the front between the ears. And on the back, uh, the horse is in motion, so I want to make the mane wavy. all the way down because it's in motion and it's going fast so the mane is flowing in the wind, flying in the wind. Okay, and the tail. Let's start right back in this back corner. Curve up, curve down, and curve back up. And then I'm going to curve down here. Go alongside here and then come back to a point like that. So that's the basic shape for the tail. And I'm going to fill in with the different individual hairs. There. Okay, so this is the horse in motion. I'm going to draw a horizon line, a skyline. Everything above this is the sky. Everything below is the ground. And then I want to make this look like this horse is actually pulling a sleigh. And so in order to do that, I'm going to put a belt around its middle. Just two lines. And this happens to be have jingle bells on it. So I'm going to put three circles. Now you can make more than this. I'm just going to do three on mine. And they're fairly large. If you want to put a whole bunch across here, you could. But the bell, the jingle bell, is just a circle with an X in the middle. So it's very simple. Okay, so that makes a jingle noise whenever the horse runs. When it hits the ground each time, it, it jingles. Then I'm going to draw the a rope or a line that goes from the belt. I'll go back here and it would connect with the sleigh. If I have the sleigh drawn behind the horse, then that would connect to the sleigh. Now we've drawn this just black and white. You could go ahead and color in the horse if you'd like. Um, another option, you can do this same kind of a thing not only with a horse, but if you want to do the same kind of thing with a deer, you just you start off with your body shape and then make the curve with the legs, just like we did on the horse, except on the deer you might make the hooves more pointy at the end. And then also, if this is one of many deer, not only would you have a line going back to the next one or to the sleigh, but you might have a line that goes forward to the belt of a deer in front of this one. You might also draw reins going from a bit in the mouth just a curved line that goes all the way back here to whoever's operating the sleigh. And this is what they would use to steer the horse. Put another one on the other side of the body. And then it curves back alongside this one. So this is our project for today. A dashing horse. Well now that you know how to draw a horse, if you'd like some art homework, teach someone else how to draw a horse. Thanks for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.
Bye, Mr. Mayberry. Yeah, giddy up, horsey.